Imagine how you can build your own yard walker to get around your garden with ease. The yard walker is designed to be user constructed in a few days using local materials, tools, and skills from one used bicycle, one wheel, wood, bolts, and screws for about the cost of a new bicycle anywhere in the world. The yard walker has a comfortable seat and plenty of storage for all your gardening needs. Store small items directly under the seat, larger items in the basket, tools or an umbrella in the holders, and don't forget your water bottle. Since you build the yard walker yourself or with friends, it is optimized to your specific dimensions, abilities, desires, and environment. When you sit down or stand up, your weight on the armrests will engage the brakes and lock the wheels in place. They are locked in the upright position. And fold back for better access to the wheels when moving while seated. The reclining backrest allows you to set any angle you choose by simply moving the wooden wedge up or down. The yard walker allows you good access to the ground from a seated position and can be moved while seated. With the large wheels you can go over rough surfaces to get out into your yard and garden. When you get there you have a place to sit and the materials to be more productive or just enjoy the outdoors. The yard walker can also be pushed by a friend for long distance travel. Here are some close up construction details for two yard walkers. Use a wheel diameter that fits your height. The measurements you need are your hips, your shoulders, your desired seat height, and your gate openings. This is just one solution to providing safe and functional mobility to those who need it. We welcome your suggestions for improvement. By adding your own creativity and accessories to the design, you can make improvements and then share them with others. The seat platform height should be set low enough to add a cushion. Shown is a water bottle cushion. The main wheels are cambered a few degrees to allow more room for your arms, improve turning, and reduce the overall width. Three key design guidelines are to set the hand grip height to allow for good posture while walking and slightly forward of the main wheel axles. Also make sure you have a minimum wheelbase of 24 inches between the main wheels and the caster wheel to prevent tipping. The main wheels are connected by shifting the axle to one side, adding a support tab, and bolting through the wood. The caster wheel is constructed by shortening the front forks to fit the additional wheel and offsetting the axle using the rear wheel supports. This shows the reclining seat back wedge. This is the tire changing tool and nut driver. The tube is slightly smashed to fit the nuts. The yard walker can be loaded into the trunk of a car in just a few minutes using the tire tool. At AT we promote free designs to facilitate mobility, independence, and prosperity. Thanks to all who collaborated to make this happen. For more information on this and other assistive technology designs, go to rgat.net.